Welcome back everybody, my name is Aprater54 aka Adam, coach of the Chesney Park Slowpokes, and today I bring you week number 3 of LET, League of Extraordinary Trainers. Hopefully this week I can bounce back from the previous two weeks where I just got absolutely destroyed. Um, last week, if you haven't watched it, I'm going to spoil it. Um, the Volcanian I had, my that I genned had a random move set so I was not able to take advantage of my Terra or my EVs which was rather unfortunate because it would have been very impactful against the opponent I face. But this week I face off against Zach Parrott, uh, coach of the Oregon Golducks. Zach's got a rather interesting team. They have Terra Enamorous Incarnate, Samurai Hasui, Cyclozar, Bramble Gas, Cinderace, Gudra Hasui, Terra Captain Sneasel Hasui, my child of Sneasler, Gastrodon, Laurentis, Terra Captain, and Ampharis. Alright, so this week I'm bringing Air Balloon Sneasler just to be able to switch into Earth Power and Amorous. Why? Because I can. And being an air balloon, the Gudra cannot earthquake kill me as well, so I'm able to sword stance in front of it, forcing it to go for a move like Draco Meteor, which can miss. Um, they also have the pressure of I can switch into Sylveon and block the Draco Meteor. So that's a lot of pressure on them, but we are sword stance, acrobatics, trailblaze, and close combat. Trailblaze is for the Gastrodon to be able to one shot it and then get a free speed boost. Acrobatics hits his entire team, and whatever acrobatics does not hit, close combat one shot after a sword stance. So Sneasler is going to be very, very clutch this game. My opponent's team also has one Fairy Resist. And um, I believe it is... Actually, no. Uh, Cinderace. And that is it. So Specs uh, Hyper Voice does a metric ton. I had through Hyper Beam on here just to send them to the real uh, realm of right, uh, realm of light. If I'm just want to sack Sylveon, I just Hyper Beam, kill something, and then let it die. So that's going to be fun. So that's Hyper Voice, Psychic, Hyper Beam, and Shadow Ball. He does not have a good Shadow Ball switch in. Um, choice Specs. With slight speed investment, I outpace non-speed investment vested Gudra Hasui, and I two-shot it with Hyper Voice, unless it is a V. And that is even if it is max HP, max Spadef, allowing me to just clean it. Next, we have Terra Grass Salamance with Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat. Terra Blast and Earthquake with weakness policy. This is Eevee just enough with Terra to be able to get the weakness policy off. And I believe it was on uh, Cinderace. Oh, I just realized I'm Moxie. I am supposed to be Intimidate. So I can live the Pyro Ball, Dragon Dance, get the Weakness Policy off, and proceed to sweep from there. Next, we have Volcanion, my other Terra Captain, with Terra Grass, Earth Power, Flame Charge, Flamethrower, and Terra Blast, just for Gastrodon, plus one speed, just murders everything else. I can Flame Charge freely on the Samurai Hazui, outspeed it. They can have their spikes from Ceaseless Edge. But then after that, Terra Blast just runs through their team. Earth Power cleans up the Sneasel Hasui. Um, Flamethrower Flame Thrower kills everything else. This three coverage runs through his team. Next, we have Paseo Berry Cleavor. I will Sword Stance in front of the Gastrodon and then click uh, Trailblaze. 
boost my speed and then it comes down to a sucker punch roll if a cinderace can kill me that or if Samurott has aqua jets but if I am set up with the sword zans and everything else plus one speed this thing runs his team it forces the terra on enamorous it forces the terra on sneezler sneasel and forces the terra on lorantis because they do not know if I am going to be a have a bug move or not allowing me to just stone axe over the top of them and one shot the entire team next we have dawn fan with sturdy this is my only fans this has earthquake seed bomb for the gastrodon a rapid spin with enough speed to outpace gudra after a spin but enough bulk to just wall a lot of physical threats on his team earthquake for everything else um, I two shot the Gudra if it's max HP, which is rather good. I just need a hazard clear this week just in case they go up. And then we have Ice Spinner for everything else because this team's incredibly weak to ice. So that is the team going into week number three. I hope you guys enjoy the battle and let's see how this goes. Best of luck to my opponent. Alright, and we are back for the battle. We have Samurai Hasui, we have Sneasel Hasui, Cinderace, Enamorous, uh, Lorantis, and Gudra. Interesting. No Gastrodon is interesting. That means I did a little bit of prep, unnecessary prep with my Terra Captains. But uh, hey, at least I have the correct Vulcanian this week. Uh, I didn't get screwed over by the Jenning bot. Uh, bear with me as I try and talk though. Um, I've been, this is uh, pretty much the first time I've been out of bed in days. So, we'll see how this goes. <coughs> do this force you to pop my stuff wait do you get a move that kills when it do you get like Zen bad blood or psycho cut Sword stance. You are my child. Hit me with the switcheroo with the choice item, please. <laughs> Father and son. Oh, mother and son. Oh, I'm a female this week. you die. Wait, this can tear? Oh, it is a captain. Alright.
Interesting. That was interesting. I think um, Samurott comes in here and tries to... I acrobatics here. Do you not have Aqua Jet? Gilliam. I haven't showed it yet. Well, sweet Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit of fender bender today. Six dog. Almost forgot about this match. <laughs> and now this is happening. Ball. No sucker punch. No focus sash. No Aqua Jet. Is this just Sneasler off rip? What is Peppermint? Hi, Peppermint. Goodbye, Peppermint. And that is a GG. That was incredibly quick. Holy crap. Uh, that set is absolutely disgusting because I made that to 1v1 Gastrodon to where it never prospers. Holy crap. Um, living that Terror Blast was a roll though, so it was all or nothing for him at that point. If he, he got Mineral on that, I believe. On, um, let me see. Let me see if that mattered. Pair of ghosts plus two to Sneasler. Terra Blast. Yeah, he he's supposed to do. Okay, so he wasn't fully uh, invested in attack because it's saying that Terra Blast does 104 to 123. Let me double check my stuff. Yeah, I'm no HP, no defense invested. I, I just raw lived that. So that was max... According to this, um, that was because he needed to live in acrobatics.
Okay, so he was may max HP, max attack. Evie lights. Because my acrobatics did not Oh wait, it crit. So I had an item still. So my acrobatics crit right there. So he was max H no, he was he had to be 200 HP, 52 attack, 252 speed, and he did 82 to 97% with Terra Blast, so he min rolled. But if he had 100 attack there, he it was a it was a 50/50 roll. It does 90, sorry, 43% chance with 100 attack investment. If he did 150, it was a 50/50 chance to kill me. So he, I literally lived on luck. So that was absolutely insane. He was banking on that to kill all or nothing. And I realistically didn't have anything left on my team that would outspeed that mod. That was phenomenal prep on his part. Uh, granted, the crit mattered. Uh, but at the end of the day, I lived. He didn't have priority, which was a shame. Because I was expecting to die more than once. I was expecting Sash. I was expecting Aqua Jet, Sucker Punch. Um, even Fake Out. If he swapped out and swapped back in and faked me out, I was dead. But, at the end of the day, it was a win on my part. Finally got one this season. But, best of luck to Zach Parrott rest of the season. Your team is god-awful to prep for. Much respect with your draft. But, at the end of the day, we gotta keep them going. Best of luck to you. And, like and subscribe if you haven't. And enjoy.